back. Today's video is all about what's in my art bag. I will have links in the description box below to what um, I share with you today. But this is my new art bag and I am very excited. I was so excited to fill it up. Um, I have taken it to the coffee shop already and it works great. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have in my art bag. So, this pocket here, I have a few erasers, some of my favorite erasers, some are old, some are new, some post-its, a couple of clips, so to keep my pages and my journal from falling or, you know, blowing over in the wind. I have my Faber-Castell Golden Faber color pencils, which I absolutely love them. They're some of my favorites. Um, this pouch came with two of these removable ones, so I'm only using one because I had a few larger things in the bottom. But I have a Tombow Mono pencil in 4H, a Blackwing 602, an Artist Loft 6B, a pastel pencil by Contite, Contite Par a Paris, um, a water soluble gray marker because I like to be able to blend it with the water and this one is really good if I don't want to blend it with water either. Um, a Zebra 0 0.07 pen and a couple of jelly rolls. I haven't put anything in the back right here just because I didn't have anything really I needed back here. The pen slots are a little tight but they will loosen up if you just work with them. I have three water brushes. Um, these are Jane Davenport water brushes and they are a, th a wide tip or you know, a thicker tip, more like a, like an, almost like a number eight round. And then this one is a really fine tip. I like them both, and then I have this one that is really fine tip. Um, one of my favorite waterproof pens is a Uniball Signo Micro 207. I have a few of those in here. This one's another one. It's a Uniball Vision. It's a waterproof, fade-proof pen, and I really like this. This one's a fine tip. Um, I like this one. And then I have this. It's an old reading glasses case that I've had forever. Um, not that I need reading glasses, but I like the case because it fits pens. Um, some brushes, like I have some really inexpensive Dollar Tree brushes um, because I'm really rough on brushes. And you know, for my quick sketches, these are great. I have a paper clip just in case to clip back some pages. Another Uniball 207 micro and then the regular 207 fine point a Bic Velocity 0.07 HB number 2 lead love this one because I can refill it and I can refill the eraser not that I use this eraser much but this is one of my favorite um, pens, pencils I've had it for a while have a couple of Tombows a soft tip and a hard tip and then a paper studio brush pen from Hobby Lobby this one works really great um, and it is water resistant, you know, pigment ink, acid free archival, and I really like it. Have another clip to clip my sketchbook or journal onto a, something thicker. This is a correction tape, little roller, a uh, washable glue stick. These are just from the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't use glue sticks much in my journals, but sometimes I do want to put something in and then this is oh, well how that happened these are all Prima watercolors and I mixed a couple of palettes I may have to get a little plastic thing to go over this but I've mixed a couple of palettes in here so I have some of the woodlands and the vintage pastels as well as the tropicals and so I painted a little palette this is like straight out of you know using it and this is once it fades a little bit 
basically I painted this one first and then came down here and painted this one so most of the paints up here and this way I can see what I can get with this this palette and I really like this palette I've created a couple of little palettes like this with um, my favorite 20 and that's what this one is so all of this gets right back in here and it works really good and it's great for me to take to my local coffee shop or say I just wanted to not create in my studio and I want to create outside um, I have a cup a little table and I can do that outside and so yeah this is what works I can take it with me I can take pop this in I can fill up another one and then change this out if I didn't want to say this what's in this one and it works really really good so far I've only had it a few days but I like it um, I can carry a pretty good bit in here without it getting um, heavy and the size of it is pretty good because it's six by nine it's like a little over six inches it's like six and a quarter by nine and a quarter and so it fits in my tote bag pretty easily and I like it because it has two zippers because as you know if a zipper pouch if one of the zippers breaks you need a backup so that's what this one is and I really really like this one and I hope you've enjoyed what's in my bag